guys it's precious welcome and welcome back to my channel it's about to be a new month which means it's time for a reset and it's crazy because this is gonna be my last monthly reset in this room for a while because next month i'm gonna be in college so i'm trying to savor this moment even though it's not really that special but you know you gotta romanticize everything i just want this month to be the best month it can possibly be so i feel like resetting and making sure that my life is in order before the month even starts is the best way to go about it so let's do this so we're gonna start with cleaning my room because my room looks like this i've said it before i'll say it again i don't know how my room just ends up like this it just does and i'm not proud of it but it's who i am so let us clean are going to do a little digital declutter i'm gonna go through everything delete everything that i don't need and i'm also gonna like redo my wallpaper because every time i do that change out the wallpaper and just delete everything i feel like a new person i don't know why but i do so let's do that Now it's time to set monthly goals and reflect on everything that happened in July. I don't know why, but this is one of my favorite parts of resetting for the month. There's just something satisfying about looking back and seeing what you did accomplish. And then there's just something motivating about setting your new goals and just thinking about how you're gonna reach them. Okay, I'm gonna set these goals and then I will come back to talk to you about some of them. Oh God. Okay, I wrote down some of my goals. I'll share some with you to, you know, give you some inspiration if you need any. Okay, so I wanna post on YouTube once a week. All summer, I've been posting twice a week, which is a miracle, honestly. I don't know how I did that, but I did. But I wanna go back to once a week because this month is honestly just gonna be crazy for me. So I know I'm not gonna have a lot of time. I wanna try to work out like three times a week. At the beginning of this month, I told myself that I was gonna work out more. And I mean, I did, but I still didn't really work out that much. I probably worked out like a total of four times, I wanna say is better than nothing but like still that's not what i was trying to aim for so i want to really get back into shape because you know you want to go back to school looking good i want to finish my physical tbr so basically all the books on my bookshelf that i have not read i just want to catch up on all of that reading before i leave because i don't want the books to just be sitting here while i'm in a totally different state and i don't want to bring the books with me because i don't have room to be bringing books with me so i'm gonna finish my physical tbr i'm gonna try not to buy any books unless like i actually have no more books i want to start a new tv show i am someone who watches the same thing over and over again i love a good comfort show but there's so many shows that i want to watch but i just don't watch because i don't want to get into that but i'm making myself watch at least one new show this month if you have any recs let me know literally i don't watch anything because i watch the same stuff over and over again so yeah tell me what your favorite show is give me a recommendation because i need it but yeah those are a few of my goals nothing crazy but now i don't know what to do okay i actually think i'm gonna go on the treadmill start my little goal of working out at least three times a week because i literally have nothing to do right Right now. Yay, let's do that. Okay, I just finished. I definitely don't look that sweaty because it's kind of dark in here, but I very much am. I definitely should not have done that. Like the treadmill is in the garage. It's summer. So obviously the garage is gonna be hot. I should have waited until like at least the sun went down. So it was either that or just run outside, which I did not want to do. Cause every time I go on a run around my neighborhood, I see someone I know, I don't want to do that. And honestly, I didn't even do that much. I switched between a jog and then an incline walk and I didn't even hit him out. Cause it got too hot. Cause I was like, okay, let me stop while I'm still conscious. So that's that. I can't believe like, it's still like bright outside. I don't know why, but I feel like it should be nine o'clock already. But I'm gonna take a quick shower. We'll have a little self care night, even though the sun is still out. It's like seven o'clock, so it's nighttime in my eyes. So we're having a self care night. Okay, we're at 
a shower. I don't know why I just said we, like we took a shower together. We didn't take a shower together. I didn't wash my hair because I really just don't feel like dealing with that. Now we can do a little skincare. And as we do this, we can have a little girl time chit chat. I'm gonna do these little collagen and hyaluronic anti-aging under eye pads. I don't know if I've already talked about these on here, but I literally just got them from TJ Maxx. I heard that collagen was good for your skin, your wrinkles, your dark spots. Basically it helps you look young. And I heard that around the time you turn 18 is when your body like stops naturally producing collagen. Well, guess who's 18? And guess who wants to keep looking 18? This girl. Okay, I have to let these sit for like 10 minutes. Let's just talk about how July went. I feel like July felt really slow in the moment, but now looking back on it, it went by really fast. I feel like I didn't accomplish as much as I wanted to, but I literally feel like that at the end of every month. So what else is new? I think it's so crazy. If I was still in high school, I would be going back to school, I think a week from today. And I keep seeing all these back to school videos and like get ready with me for school. Like there are people who are already in school and it's July, that's wild. But I keep seeing all these and I'm like, oh my gosh, that's not me anymore. I feel like I talk about this a lot, but it's crazy to even like think about the fact that like I'm an adult, I'm going to college, I'm not in high school anymore, which don't get me wrong. I love the fact that I'm not in high school anymore because that really was a different type of stress, but it's over. And it's so weird that it's over because I was literally doing that every day. I don't know, I'm sure you know what I mean. Okay, I'm gonna shave like my little mustache and like around my eyebrows with this little thing. I don't even know what these are called. I always call it a facial razor, but literally like any razor can be a facial razor. So I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Let's talk about some things that I was obsessed with this month. As of like a week ago, I've been obsessed with that Despicable Me song that Pharrell made. Tell me why I listened to it like five times yesterday. Also, if you know me, I have a thing for matcha. I've been putting honey in my matcha, which isn't a new thing. Like everybody's been doing that already, but I just never did. But I decided to give the honey a try and I honestly love it. I'm gonna take these off. I don't know if these little thingies are even working. What else has been happening? Okay, I started using Differin Gel. I actually used it last year, probably last summer and it was good to my skin like it it did what it needed to do it increases your cell turnover rate i don't know what that means but it's good if you have acne i guess oh my god can we talk about the olympics i keep seeing all these videos of the olympics and i'm kind of obsessed i've never followed the olympics the way i'm following it now and honestly i'm not even following it but if i'm like scrolling through my phone like the like olympic games will just like show up and i can't not watch it i don't know why but i just can't not watch it i have to watch it and especially like gymnastics i'm getting a lot of gymnastics videos on my feed and i just like can't not watch those and it always gives me such anxiety like i don't want to say i expect them to fail because i mean they're olympic athletes of course they're probably not gonna fail but in the back of my mind i'm worried for them that they're gonna get hurt so like every time i watch the videos i stress so much but they always make it out i don't understand how they do that like the physics i don't under like how do you how are you doing that i don't understand i will never understand but it's so cool that they can do that thank you for coming to my TED talk i'm done with my skincare okay it's a little later i literally like messed up my hip or something i think it was from me running on the treadmill i don't know what i did but it started hurting all of a sudden i feel like an old woman but that's besides the point okay this has absolutely nothing to do with resetting but i want to cut the neckline off of this crew neck and i've been wanting to do this for the past few days so you can look at it as me accomplishing my july goals before the month is over but i know you know what i'm talking about you know like the off the shoulder thing i've just been wanting to try that but i never got around to it and i wanted to use this crew neck because i never really wear it because i think it looks ugly on me it just fits me weird let's go over here okay we got the scissors i really don't know what i'm doing i watched like one video i mean it's it doesn't seem like rocket science but with me things can go in any direction oh my god i'm doing it we did it but does it look good that's the real question okay did i just do it stop wait hold on i'm excited now i don't know if i should cut this bigger or not i don't know how to feel about this like i've literally never done this to my shirt before it is more comfy i will say that i look you want to cut it some more like would that be too much okay i cut a little more off i don't even think you can really tell but i did and i like it better oh my gosh i did it that's like such a good skill to have now i know how to cut up my crew neck this might be one of my new favorite things i feel so accomplished now yay So I went ahead and ate dinner. I ate some chicken and I brushed my teeth. So now it's time to relax. My favorite time of the night. It wouldn't be one of my reset videos if I didn't talk about what I'm gonna read next. So I've been reading the Shatter Me series. So we are gonna continue the series. This is a novella. So it's not really the second book. I don't think you have to read it, but like it would just make more sense if you did read it. So I'm gonna spend my night reading this. I'm very excited to see where it goes. As I'm filming this, I'm also filming a reading vlog. So me reading this will be in the reading vlog. So if you want a more in depth review on it. I don't know if the reading vlog is out. I don't think it is out, but it's coming. Okay, let's read this.
Who will group be tonight? That's the question. 